Hi everyone, today I'm going to give you a short introduction of GoNews Touch. Have a great time. Well, using GoNews Touch you can easily download the latest news from any website across the internet directly to your Windows mobile device. With GoNews you can read your news throughout the day, even when your device is offline and without active internet connection. Looking at GoNews main display, you will find all of your GoNews channels, where each channel represents a different website you follow. At the top of the display here, you can see the current channels category. Currently, I'm viewing all categories together. At the center of the screen, we're seeing a list of all channels we're following. If I swipe my finger on the screen, I can easily browse up and down and get all the channels I have. Using the left button button here, we can easily switch between the different channel categories we configured. I'm going to get back to this one later on and give you a wider preview. The center button, this one, is used to update all of your Go News channel's content from the internet. I'm using this one each morning to initiate an update for my Go News content before leaving home. The right button here takes us to Go News menu for additional options. Clicking the left button here takes us to Go News settings. Okay, so let's get back now to the main screen and get some more info about every channel. So every channel contains the name of the channel, as you can see here, and the website it is downloaded from. You can also see the exact time when you last downloaded the channel's news. And on the right side, you have the unread and read count that tells you how many articles weren't read yet. So a short press on one of the channels opens it and it will allow you to see all the articles you have in it. Let's pick uh, this one for example. Now I can see all of the articles I have here by browsing just up and down. Okay, let's press on one of the articles, pick this one, and this shows you how easy it is to read this article. Okay, the left button here will take me back to the article screen. The arrows allow me to easily move between the articles without needing to go back to the main article screen. I can easily go to the next article, I just use the right arrow or another one. Now I can also easily, as I showed you, just swipe my finger and read. It's very easy. The right button here allows you to change the font size of the article. If you want, you can read the news using a large font or you can also switch to a smaller font. This depends basically on how you like to read the news. Okay, one press here will take me back to the articles list and another press will take me back to the channels list. Okay, let's open our account on Twitter. This allows me to, to easily read my content on our company news. Let's pick an, an article. This is very easy to use. Now, I'm going to press on the categories button, this one, and this will allow me to jump to specific categories. Let's go to news, and this le leaves us with three channels only. Okay, I'm going to choose this one, Yao Business. Here I can see all the articles I have in Yao Business. I press on one of the articles, let's uh, pick this one. Okay, this opens it, and I'll be able to read through easily. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this introduction and I wish you a great time using Go News Touch. Have a great day.